Hello YouTubers, Zero to 100 here. And while my bike is in for a service, Honda have been so kind as to give me this bike to test ride and ride today. And uh, this is the Honda NC750X. And I thought I would do a quick review and my personal opinion of this bike. It is Honda's most popular bike for uh, the last four years so it is a an excellent seller for Honda and uh, I can see why this appeals to many people because it is really a very good economical all-round bike that you can use in almost every situation a little bit of off-road you can do uh, city commuting with us it's got an amazing um, parallel twin which is very economical and um, I can see why this appeals to a lot of people now this particular bike brings uh, SW Motec um, bar protectors it has an additional optional extra USB um, 2 amp 5 volt DC charger, the switch for the SW Motec LED um, spotlights, it's water cooled, it has a uh, 120, I believe, what is it, 120, 70, 17 inch tire in the front, single caliber uh, disc in front, ABS. It has got a 160, 60, 17 inch tire in the back. This model is DCT, so it is uh, automatic, fully automatic. Of course, you can uh, use manual modes if you use the up and down triggers on this side. So no clutch. It's got a short windscreen display is adequate. It has got the petrol tank underneath the seat, so you have the option of storing a full face helmet in this compartment here, which looks like a tank, but it's not. It's quite a deep compartment, and I can actually show you that. So you've got plenty space here to store a full face helmet, which is nice. Let me show you the display as well. Display is colorful, it gives you fuel range, um, odometer standard AB, average, that's your rev counter on the top, a neutral ABS, it's got some sort of a traction control, uh, big display for the uh, speed, so it's um, very adequate. Like all Honda motorbikes, it's got the Honda ignition security system. The mirrors are perfectly fine. Crash bars from SW Motec. It has got a uh, big crash plate to protect the oil sump. Um, these are all optional extras, I believe, on this particular bike. To install petrol, yeah, there should be a... Oh no, you set it up here, I believe for fuel so you would turn it there that opens up the fuel compartment for your fuel so it is quite easy it's not a pain yeah and it's all controlled with this here it's got a standard handbrake because this gear you can uh, this bike you cannot um, engage it into first gear uh, when you do park on a slope so it's got this handbrake here to prevent the bike because it's always in neutral even if you leave it in gear when you switch it off it kicks it into neutral so if you're on a slope you need to use the handbrake on this particular bike standard light flickers standard light uh, it's got a bit of an adventure feel this is Honda's best seller because it does really really well as a city commuter and this is Honda's best selling bike for the last four years since when it was introduced I believe back in 2012 and uh, yeah this is an excellent city commuter it's an all-purpose bike it can go it can do a little bit of off-road but I think its main purpose is city commuting it does very well at that 
It's a little sluggish on the uh, rev, so it keeps the revs low, of course, for uh, one of the reasons why it is so economical. So it's not, a, it's not an extremely fast bike, it's not an extremely aggressive bike. Um, people say that it is kind of dull. I think that it serves its purpose well. I think that uh, it can reach well above um, city limits. So I've done 180 on this bike, no problem. It's enough. I mean, it's not going 200, 230, uh, like on some of the bigger engines. But in the city, you don't need uh, that, all that power. With 54 brake horsepower and the savings that you have on fuel, that's all you need. Yeah. If you want an exciting bike, then you would buy an exciting bike, something sporty or something racing. This, for everyday purpose, it's perfect. It's really great. Well done, Honda. I like this bike. It's beautiful. I like it. It looks great. So, it's easy to ride. It's very comfortable. It is easy to ride. It's very comfortable. It's The windscreen doesn't really help much. It's like riding a naked. You would have to go probably third party wind protection if you want to get a little bit better because riding this on the highway it was hitting me uh, in the face so the windscreen doesn't serve any purpose I think it's just for show and uh, you would have to go aftermarket if you really want uh, better wind protection on this bike rear view mirrors perfectly fine nothing wrong with that final drive is chain suspension uh, more than comfortable you don't need to worry about that so guys let's take it for um, a bit of a ride yeah and see what it's all about so the bike itself feels much smaller than the bigger capacity adventure bikes so this bike automatically feels like a uh, smaller street naked that's my first impression now it is very comfortable to ride seat height is just perfect it does have the same uh, problem that I had with a cross runner with the foot pegs sticking out right where you put your feet on the ground but uh, it's got that same very clever mechanism that uh, if it's in your way you just kick it back and it falls quite easily now on you have two different riding modes with this bike you've got D and S and uh, dynamic mode just goes through the gears a lot quicker it keeps the gear ratios and the uh, revs down so it changes quickly whereas sportier mode it does give it more of an aggressive feel and this is the, the mode that I've been riding in and uh, again this bike for a 750cc it delivers it does what it's supposed to do the only real thing that uh, I don't like on this bike it's a naked bike you have the same amount of wind hitting you now I'm doing 83 kilometers an hour and uh, already I can feel a lot of a lot of wind so the mirrors adequate nothing wrong with the with the mirrors brakes are good so you don't have that uh, top heavy bike so uh, needing the two uh, dual discs in front ABS again comes standard with these bikes it does corner nicely weighing it in uh, weighing in at uh, 220 uh, kilograms the bike does fine yeah again DCT is always good you don't need to whack it in neutral or find first gear as in that situation the light turned green all I needed to do was accelerate get ahead of the cars and uh, I'm doing already 140 kilometers so why would you need more power than this in the city 
if you want to have more power then you would buy yourself a sportier or something um, with a little bit more oomph so the bike itself it's, a, it's an upright sitting position very comfortable nothing wrong seat a little bit hard could be improved it drives nicely and uh, through first second and third let's wait for the traffic lights as you can see here the f this bike is really really economical it's showing here on this test bike 4.2 liters to the hundred that is amazing for a 750 cc engine that's very low I mean I'm getting on my Honda Cross Tour uh, 6.9 7 liters to the hundred and I've tested other bikes that are not far from that this one is doing 4.2 and this is city riding because it's a test bike and the guys are pushing this bike like crazy so yeah you can save quite a bit of pennies by riding this bike every day I don't think there are many cars that can achieve 4.2 liters to the hundred again it's third gear doing a hundred climbing up to fourth gear in sports mode the bike handles excellent the only thing is a lot of wind So that's me doing 150 kilometers and again the word factor is just a lot so yeah definitely something to consider if you are planning on doing a lot of touring or riding on the motorways with this bike yeah Brakes are good, no complaints in that department. It does corner well. Very easy to maneuver this bike. for motorway riding this is all you need basically I'm having no problems in taking over the slower cars and uh, definitely more than enough power for an everyday commuter I mean the traffic laws in this country particularly are so stringent that it's very rare that you can push the bike to 
more than 130, 140 kilometers an hour or so. Yeah. And still, you have power to go. If you accelerate, it drops the gear in sports mode and you can easily get to 160 kilometers an hour quite easily. So there's no issues uh, with that, yeah? I do like this bike. And if I had the space and if I had the money and uh, I could afford more than uh, one bike, I would definitely consider buying this bike to ride every day. What is the upright position? Yeah, fun! <laughs> you can feel that it's a lot smaller so but comfortable to maneuver so i would think also not a bad bike to take off road it's got a lot more lean on the front than some bikes so yeah i am such a big fan of uh, dct so dual clutch transmission on the honda bikes i think the future is going to be all about dct and uh it's just so seamless. I mean, you just accelerate when you need to accelerate. You don't need to worry about finding gears and finding neutral and putting it into first at the traffic light. So you're always ready to go. You've always got the gear engaged. And uh, on this bike, it's nothing different, yeah? Nothing different. And I did say that the seat is a little bit harder than what I'm used to, but absolutely comfortable. I mean, it's not, it doesn't numb in any way. So, um, yeah, it's nice. You've got your knees folded, tucked away nicely. I want to change gears now. <laughs> Display information is a little bit cluttered, um, but it's got everything that you need. And again, it's got no handlebar settings, so you've got to actually press to do the settings on the actual display. It does have a nice sound to it. So the exhaust sounds good, but uh, I would probably change it to an aftermarket exhaust just to give it a little bit more make a little bit more noise so the bike itself is quite a good looker I like the looks of this bike it's got a smallish exhaust which is nice and again uh, this must be so nimble in and out of traffic What really appeals to me is the uh, fuel economy on this bike. I mean, it's incredible. I went on tour with a friend of mine that owns one of these. And uh, we were pulling like 6.8, 6.7 liters to the hundreds. And uh, he was doing like, you know, 4. And he was pushing hard, 4.2, 4.3. So... Yeah, quite a lot of uh, saving on fuel if you ride one of these babies. Again, I have not spent too much time on this, riding this bike. I've got to get it back to the dealer and pick up my own bike. But uh, I do think that uh, it's a good overall package. It's a nice bike. really easy 220 kilometers uh, 220 at 220 kilograms you 
you can feel that all the weight is uh, very very low down so you don't it's not that top heavy it actually feels light on top and the uh, suspension as well is very very good nothing wrong with the suspension I mean uh, I'm riding on quite a bumpy road and uh, have no real shockers oh this is closed so I'm gonna have to go the long way around which is fine oh they've got a detour here it's not so bad so let's just turn this and then I will uh, give you a short summary just before I get back to the dealers on the Honda NC750 another feature that I like is this tank storage very easily maneuverable you can lean this bike I think quite comfortably so yeah let me summarize uh, quickly just before I give this back to Honda um, excellent bike overall I am impressed it's a nice package it's put together pretty nice I like the helmet compartment um, that takes the place of the tank I like the fuel economy of this bike I like the way it handles all the weight is low down uh, very good visibility adequate on the mirrors the only thing that uh, suffers is the small little windscreen it's almost doesn't serve any purpose you get all the wind in your face so you would have to opt for an op for a aftermarket windscreen very easily maneuverable at 220 kilograms sufficient brake suspension excellent I would recommend this bike for somebody in the city that drives every day I believe the standing position is also pretty good so you can take it off-road and uh, yeah I think at this price point this is an excellent bike honestly and I can see why uh, this appeals and why this is Honda's uh, best seller nothing else to say about the Honda NC750 Honda well done great little bike well it's not that little it's 750 so Honda great guys thank you for watching this is 0 to 100 if you like the video give me the thumbs up share subscribe help a guy grow his channel it's always much appreciated thank you so much for your support peace out 0 to 100 over and out bye bye